Alrighty guys, back at Walmart, see what we can find. What do we have here? Pass various. That looks like that's gonna be pretty, pretty much it. Because here the pegs are looking pretty bare. Hopefully that means that we're gonna get a bunch of stuff in really soon. Please let that be the case, because it's getting annoying. But I don't even, I don't know. Did I pick up the ice charger in the last one? I don't remember. But if not, I'm definitely taking, I'm definitely taking that, um, whatchamacallit, the, the off-road charger. I'm just going to look at maybe spotting some hiding places and call it a hunt. I mean, not call it a hunt, but you get the idea. Take a peek at Rossi, see what we can find. Did they get anything new? It doesn't appear like it. Should be some point within the next month, I believe, that they'll get some new in. Nothing new on the monster trucks. Still got the uh, like 15 year old ones down there. That's really cool, but I'll see you at the next stop. Let's check dollar store 102. And look at that. Wow. This is, this is overflowing. These guys definitely got some in. I don't even know how I'm gonna get to these. There was a Civic right on the front though. That's an interesting sign. There's a GTX. This is the first time they've been in a different spot than usual that I can actually remember. Definitely don't think I was the first one here. Man. They really just jammed all these in here, didn't they? And I will clean this up after, as you guys know, I'm not gonna make a mess, but this is driving me. This is hard to get at. You know what guys, I think I'm gonna have to come back. That's the only way I think I'm gonna be able to get at these. Alrighty guys, we're a Canadian Tiger. Let's see what we can find here. Okay, so Hot Wheels main lines look exactly the same. They haven't really stocked anything, but they did up the price to 29. That's unfortunate. Let's check the uh, premium if they got any left. Check these monster trucks first, actually. Nothing in the monster trucks. Uh, I might come back to these skateboards. Uh, let's check. A couple of regular Benzes. Everything's here, I believe, except the Porsche, but that's okay. I already picked up the Porsche. That looks like it's gonna do it here, so I'll see you at the next stop. Back at Dollarama. See what we can find. Nothing here. Mix eight matchbox. are the only thing here. I 
I don't know. I, I think I've got enough of these, so I think I'm going to pass on that. Alrighty, guys. We're back at Winners. Um, I just happened to check here. I found more Zamac packs. I've been anticipating this. And with Christmas stocking season coming in at full-fledged, um, I might honestly pick up a couple more of these. Um, if anybody needs one, maybe we could do a trade. And I'm definitely picking one up for my loose collection. So for sure I'm going to take two of these. I'm probably going to leave that one for somebody else. But I figure I'd just share this. And I will see you at the next stop. Alrighty guys, I'm at Shoppers. Looks like they finally got some 5-packs uh, in. And look at there. I finally, finally, finally found a Supra and the uh, Fast and Furious one. This is just, that one's been so hard to find. I found the Skyline one no problem, but I've had so many issues with trying to find the uh, Fast and Furious one. I'm gonna take a look at these. What do we have in here? Let's kind of take a look. Nothing in there that's worth picking up but it might mean that they're getting their Christmas section ready. And so, it might be worth taking a look at my university town next week for um, five packs. But yeah, I'm definitely taking the Super with the uh, the Charger and stuff in it. That's, that's a great score. I'm so happy to have that. Um, but yeah, I think that's all that's gonna be found here. Time to check the independent. Alright, looks like nothing new since the last time. Um, there's that automobile peanut butter to Batista. Pass on that. It's been really complicating if I want to pick up this bone shaker or not. I might come back for that at some point this week. I do like the bone shaker casting. So, and then you got the Hummer, which I'll pass on. I'll see you guys at the next stop. Back at the University Shoppers. Um, see if we can find the, the Super 5 pack that we found back home. Looks like all the Halloween stuff's over here, but it looks like they're getting ready for their Christmas section. I don't know if they got anything in here yet, but it's definitely worth keeping an eye out for here, but it looks like it's just going to be the same character curves that we've seen about a thousand times, but this is going to be a place that I'll check probably again a little later this week. So I finally, finally got my hands on the Fast and Furious 5 pack. I noticed throughout the video, as I've been editing it already, I was calling it the Supra 5 pack. I don't know why. I do really like the Supra. But my favorite car, honestly, I think has to be the Charger, which is really cool in my opinion. Probably one of my favorite cars to collect too as well. Um, why do I have these two side by side? There's one main reason. I really want to talk about this card variation that I never really see anyone talking about. Um, I found two five packs both of them were the variation on the left the one on the right on the other hand i won in a whatnot giveaway a few months back um i seen this variation on instagram from a guy out in ontario who mentioned something about it and today i want to talk about it main thing really is the font down below being completely different from the the other variation which has a white font and if we look at the sides, even the side art is completely different. The backs are completely different. This is the one I found. This is the uh, one I wanted in the Whatnot giveaway. And here's the other side. Again, very, very different. And this isn't a variation I've really seen any other collectors talk about, which is really surprising. I've seen it mentioned once on Instagram from the guy I had already mentioned. But other than that, not really any mention about this 5-pack variation. I just don't know if people have noticed it or not, but... And I don't even know what the deal with this one is. 
from what I can tell, it's not a, um, it's definitely not an international card, US card variation because of all the variations on the back of different languages, which I don't think they make international cards and US cards. As a matter of fact, I know they don't for these. So I don't think I remember a five pack with a packaging variation like this ever. I've seen some different changes in cars and five packs in the past, but I don't think I've seen anything like this and I've been collecting Hot Wheels for about 10 years. And by the time you guys are seeing this, I think it's 10 years to the week, maybe it's a week after that, but either way, I just wanted to share this variation with you guys and and just so you guys know, keep an eye out, because there is a card variation for this, if you guys do collect card variations. Some of you probably don't care, but I figured I'd share it in case you did. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this, I hope you found this video in informal in regards to the variation of the card art. From my experience, this one's been the easier one to find. But anyways, don't forget to leave a like. Share and subscribe, share it with your friends, families, cats, squirrels, dogs, and raccoons, whoever, please just share the video, I'd be forever grateful, happy hunting, and stay safe.